Hello, hello to all of my Cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Midweek Wednesday reading, Cancers. Don't forget to comment below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, Cancers. You know, we want to make sure we continue bringing you all content. So don't forget to comment below, Cancers. Let's get into your general reading. Let's get into your general reading to see what's coming up. This reading is from the 21st of September through the 30th of September. These are things you can ex you can expect coming up very, very soon, very soon, because we're closing out a cycle. And so this is about you finishing strong. Remember, we had a lot of mutable energy this month, right? We had the first quarter moon in Sagittarius. That's a mutable sign, fire sign. We had the full moon in Pisces. That's a mutable water sign. And so now we're in this last quarter moon in Gemini, mutable air sign, right? So you got every Everything you need to finish strong. Everything you need to finish strong. Cancers, finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Let's go. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your chart. Don't forget to check out the Retrograde series on the second channel. That link is below in the description. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is also below to schedule. Let's go. All right, we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Hang One. We're going to put this right here. We also have the Page of Cups. We also have the Knight of Wands. Uh huh, uh huh. We have the Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. See, I see victory for you all. I see you all getting as far away from a treacherous ex, ex job, ex lover, ex family members, ex friends, getting as far away from that treacherous energy as humanly possible. And you'll be able to defend it without being defensive, coming across as moody and, and, and mentally unstable, right? Even though it was pretty dark in somebody's past, like past relationships failing. And it was because for some of you all, you all could not really see your value. You couldn't see yourself on this throne. You couldn't see the wealth you had in your spirit and your soul. And you had no idea that material wealth was on its way to you. So some of you all, just like I said, nurtured anything, you know, from your past. Somebody gave you a sob story, you went right into mothering mode. I'm mothering somebody, I'm mothering a demon, right? Somebody else's demon, allowing that to be t uh, contaminating your water, right? And when I say demon, we're not talking, calling a person a demon. We're talking about I'm, I'm mothering something that I'm not really sure on first glance what kind of demons they have, they're, what kind of demons they're fighting. But hey, um, I'm a maternal sign, I'm the mother sign, and I'm the money sign. So hey, I'm, I'm just going to nurture, you know, this kind of thing, right? Nurturing this kind of thing. So again, somebody looked back at their past for the last time and said, I'm getting back on my horse. I'm turning away from my past. Every time it comes up, I'm going to find some healthy way of getting as far away from that. Maybe I'll go take a walk listen to some meditation music and just get hit a reset button, right? Take a spiritual shower, envision all of that past stuff going down the drain. I'm going to finish strong, right? And I can defend why I'm never going back to my past again. I'm not going backwards. That thing was treacherous. Somebody has new love coming across their path. We have the page of cups. It's a very youthful love coming across your path where a person, like I said, won't be, they will be very sensitive to your energy, right? They don't need to know what happened in your past because you're not trying to bleed all over people and hurt other people with your past. What you're saying is that I deserve to be on this throne. If I'm going to nurture something, I'm going to nurture healthy, wealthy relationships, right? That's what Libra is all about. Libra is about, it's about, um, it's about love. It's about pleasure, right? We're talking about whether it's romantic love or erotic love or agape love. I'm getting me some rose quartz. That's what somebody's going to say. I'm getting some rose quartz or some rose oil. And I am going to, I'm going to put that in my spiritual bath. And you know, I'm going to have a ritual for you all coming up soon, but I'm going to do what I need to do to forgive my past, but I'm not, I'm not emotionally going back to that anymore. I'm not emotionally going back to that anymore. Remember, um, some of you all exes may try to reach out to you via telepathy because you all are so highly, you're so highly spiritually gift, gifted and empathic that you may feel, why am I thinking about an ex or why am I thinking about an ex friend, ex lover, ex whomever, ex job or whatever? Because people are thinking about people during this time. They're like, you know, you may hear people say, oh, it's cuffing season, but it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that in the spiritual realm where people are starting to think, man, you know what? I really miss the nurturing of the cancer. And so I, I miss it. And things may not be going well for them in their lives. 
especially people don't miss cancers until cancers are out of their life. They miss that that nurturing feeling that they miss the fact that you all are for the most part homebodies, not out here ripping and running all over the streets and stuff. They miss that the fact that you know that again that you all are nurturers. They miss that. People miss that. Here we have the Two of Cups, the Tower card, the Everything is Fine, which is also Ten of Swords. We have the Death card, the Fool card, and also the Three of Wands, right? So let's pick up these Major Arcana here. Yeah. So like I said, somebody in your life is going through a Tower moment, something that ended cancer. They're going through a really rough time. They're going through a rough time. Um, somebody may feel foolish. Somebody may feel when you felt foolish in a situation, now they're feeling foolish because you're no longer giving it any more energy. So you looking back at your past and recognizing, you know what, there's no more life to that. I don't even want that. Every time I think about it, I get lightning epiphany, aha moments like, you know what, what was I the fool does even think about going backward to that? I must be out of my mind. See, when I tell you how intuitive you all are, it's going to make so much sense to you all why you even entertain certain energies. Somebody has been so you, this is right here, a person who had, who have had so many low vibration energies project their hurt and pain into you that you were almost in a zombified state, like almost like a person who was the opposite of what a cancer is, right? You all are sweethearts. You all are empathic. Um, you all are... You, you are very reflective, very nurturing energies. And to be in this state right here with all of this hurt in you, somebody was carrying around even extra weight of hurt, but that's going to end. That's ending very, very soon. That's very, that's ending very soon. Like I said, somebody is no longer looking back at their past. You're ready for, somebody is absolutely ready for new love to come across their path and boom, here it is. Soulmate energy, two of cups. That's right. Somebody is going to feel like, Man, this, this energy is just not like just what I needed in terms of like this person came to save you. It's not that energy. It's more or less like this person just understands me. They really understand me. So I need you all to expect for it to come because it's coming. I need you all to expect for this energy to come because you said I'm, I'm closing that door in my past. I'm not looking at how many failed relationships I had. Those were actually lessons. So what do I have to feel bad about? Even if I have kids with the person, those are still lessons. My kids are not a mistake. They are a blessing, you know, so because they're part of you. But again, like I said, and you get a chance to impart your wisdom and knowledge onto them, not bitterness and frustration and angry onto your kids. They're innocent. They're like, oh, well, what do we add? We didn't ask for this. <laughs> we didn't ask to hear about which parent is a bad parent or whatever. But like I said before, some people are, it's, it's hitting some people real hard the nurturing that you gave them, the fact that you weren't argumentative with them, that you uh, that you are just a deeply compassionate person. So it's, it's kind of hitting somebody, you know. So again, if you're thinking about somebody from your past, they could really be going through it. They could really, really be going, things aren't working out for them in their relationships. Things are just aren't working out. And they're just remembering, like, what did I do wrong? They have to sit with the fact that they didn't do you right. This could be family members that didn't do you right. I'm not trying to put anybody in victim mode, but somebody had gotten so used to projecting their anger and frustration and their resentment onto you and you just took it. How many times did you take it, right? Over and over and over again. And so finally you just said, you know what? Let me get back on my throne. Let me get back on my horse fast and get back on my throne. I know who I am. Now I'm need, I need to learn how to protect my water. And that's what somebody is doing. You're, protect, you're a water sign. That's why I say protect your water. I need to learn how to protect my emotions. I'm not letting them uh, project their toxins into my water. And then I look just as crazy as they do. Here we have page of coins. Somebody has been waiting on some news about some money. And it's still it's coming your way. It's coming your way. This right here is not only about coins and paper money. We're talking also about richness in relationships as well, right? Being connected to people, learning how to invest, like taking your time out for your with your creativity. Like again, the past somebody's past was weighing on them, I mean tremendously where creatively you wake up in the morning and wanted to go right straight back to bed. Like, did I even sleep a full whatever night's rest or how, whatever your schedule is? Did I even did I even get a full rest because somebody kept letting their past drag them back? Something from your past kept reminding you, kept calling you backwards. That was that full moon in Pisces. But now today you're like, mm -mm, 
I'm closing that up for good. I'm happy where I am. Some of you all had actually fully, like, had completely moved away from where you used to live. Again, your past was calling you back, whether it was through music that you heard, a song that you heard, a car that you saw. Something reminded somebody of their past was calling them back. So it's not always a person calling you or DMing or, or, or texting you. It could just be the memory, right? Make an altar. That's right. 16. Ah, uh, yeah, reduces to seven. Again, at the altar that you're making in your meditative state, you're making an altar. Somebody may be making an altar to an ancestor. You could be in a meditative state. Even if you don't make an altar, in your meditative state, you can see yourself talking to a loved one who may have transitioned and information coming through you, uh, coming to you from them. You know, God using them to send messages through to you all so that you'll say, oh, wow, that's my grandmother. Or, you know, my grandfather's getting a message or my mom or dad giving me messages or aunt and uncle, somebody who transitioned on sending messages through to you, giving you the nurturing that you were giving so many other people. Yeah, just reminding you, hey, listen, I got you covered. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry anymore. Let's see what else we got going on here, Cancers. Let's see what else we have going on here before we close it out. But yeah, somebody from your past is not having the best time right now. Things are not working out in their relationships. And eventually they're going to realize it's them. Eventually they're going to realize. And so that's where God needs to. That's why, that's why if you think about them, just keep it moving forward. This is where you say, nope, I'm keeping on moving forward. I'm on my horse. I'm getting as far away from any thoughts about them whatsoever because this horse is taking me back to my throne. I'm getting as far away from any of those thoughts whatsoever because your default would be to nurture somebody. But again, you can defend it without being defensive. You're not, I don't even see you all talking about it to anybody. I don't, I don't even see you all saying, guess what? I had a dream about my ex and the way that they did me. I don't even see you talking about it. I just see you back on your horse moving towards your throne. That's what I see. You have completely closed off all the access points from your past. Here we have, take time to breathe out. That's right. You deserve it. Take time to breathe out. You see that blue? That's your throat chakra. Just take time to just say, God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing that thing to resurface so I can get as far away from that as possible. I don't need to know if they're going through karma. I don't need to know what is good or bad karma. That's none of my business. I'm just moving forward towards my throne, getting ready to meet my person. I want nothing to do with my past because I put a manhole over that thing. I don't care how many times, how many relationships I was in. I'm looking forward to some new, healthy working relationships, friendships romantic relationship or whatever i'm looking forward to my future there's nothing back there for me right so yeah so let's keep it moving forward 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 yeah somebody's grandmother has a message for them to hey all the nurturing that you gave to so many other people that took you for granted i'm here to, i'm here to nurture you myself they're the ones that's leading somebody yeah, somebody, somebody who died is somebody who's leading you and telling you, hey, just be patient. That's what they're saying. Be patient. You're transitioning. It's happening. It's already happening. It's already in motion. The money you've been waiting for is coming your way. Yeah, the wealth that you've been waiting for, your twin flame or soulmate is coming your way. Don't worry about it. I am intuitive. Your number is 11. That's right. Step through those pillars. Number 11 represents light. L-I-G-H-T. It symbolizes light, right? It also means getting off of a fence and making a decision about something. And so somebody made a decision to stop looking back at their past and turn around and move forward and get on their horse and get back on their throne. The number 11 means you have a keen awareness. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. The, this insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter and a supporter. That's right. That's right. That is what I have for you, Cancers. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all on Friday. Yes. Get ready for this new moon ritual that I'm going to share with you all. I'm not sure if I'm going to share it in the readings or putting up on the second channel, but either way, you're going to get it. All right. <laughs> Bye.